Hello everyone, this is Harry Koster and we're going to be talking about men's health. This week is Men's Health Week and I think it's important to talk a little bit about that. Oftentimes there's more talk about women's health than men's health, but I do think men deserve a little bit of attention. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So one of the interesting facts is that, well, I guess, I guess it's not that interesting, but men have a life expectancy that is five years less than women. Now, why is that? You know, there's a lot of different factors that play a role. We used to think that it was because, you know, men may work harder jobs, more difficult, more dangerous jobs than, than women. But if you go back a hundred years, the difference in life expectancy really was only one year. So even though a lot more jobs have gotten, you know, more automated and probably not quite as heavy, that difference has increased. And it really isn't just from injuries or anything like that. If you look at the you know, top 10 leading causes of death, nine of them affect you know, men more than women. So you know, things like heart disease, strokes, cancer, you know, men die at a higher rate than women. So this really is kind of you know, across the board. Probably the biggest difference is in areas of suicide and homicide, where the difference is you know, at least fourfold, fivefold. So men are you know, way more affected by, by homicide, but also by suicide. You know, men you know, have, you know, commit suicide way more often than, you know, than women do. So now, you know, what is truly the reason behind this? Most likely, it's the fact that men oftentimes don't go see a doctor. Women are 100% more likely to attend an annual you know, physical, an annual visit with their doctor than men. And I think that's really where the problem is. Even in our clinic, you know, where we do physical therapy you know, for, for injuries and back pain and everything that you would think would be a very even distribution between men and women, it's not true. You know, women come to our clinic significantly more often than men do. So, you know, my, my urge out there is for, for men, you know, go see your doctor on a regular basis. Let's help, you know, bring that difference down by getting annual checkups. If something's bothering you, go to the doctor. If you have back pain, come see us. And really don't be macho, don't be stubborn, you know, but really take care of yourself. You know, because really we want to be able to change that. You know, there's one little you know, kind of interesting fact for men that may, may help a little bit. When you're 100 years old, there's eight women for every man. So if you're a 100-year-old single man you know, looking for a date, you, know, you got eight to pick from. Now, seriously, we really need to you know, improve this, this fact. So men, go see your doctor, you know, get help, go get attention for problems that you're having. Have a good day.